Introducing the 2021-3 Schrodinger release. Let's take a look at some new features and enhancements. In Maestro, we see improved visualization support of nucleic acids. Now, DNA and RNA macromolecules can be recognized as receptors, making it easier to view and control the display of their interactions, like non-covalent bonds, pi interactions and contacts with small molecule ligands. Also, DNA and RNA small molecules can be optionally treated as ligands, making them easier to identify and select when bound with a larger protein macromolecule. The structure hierarchy has also seen improvements with the organization of multi-residue ligands like peptides. This makes it easier to select the whole ligand molecule or its individual residues. Over in the multiple sequence viewer and editor, in addition to displaying kinase feature annotations, one can also calculate kinase binding site conservation regions. This will reveal another annotation row with color blocks for the conservation categories. In the FEP Plus panel, Structures corresponding to the same ligand in different protonation or tautomeric states or binding modes are automatically detected and connected as a subgroup treated as a supernode. This leads to improved graph topology for ligands with these multiple states. Also on the FEP Plus panel, one can now add experimental affinities to protein FEP calculations, making it possible to generate and analyze correlation plots. In R group enumeration, it's now possible to perform partial substitution regardless of R group identity or R group library. In other words, allow R groups to vary across all positions with additional controls for specifying the number of positions to use, or for each R group, specify how many substitutions should occur at the available positions. In the ligand designer, Users can improve the drug likeness of ideas generated by the enumeration workflows by filtering out Payne's compounds and those that violate Rios or Schrodinger's standard SMARTS filters. Among the Jaguar QM panels, new functionals have been added, while additional solvents, ethanol, methanol, DMSO, and acetonitrile have been added to the circular dichroism workflow panel. And finally, our new and improved protein preparation workflow is officially out of beta. See our previous 2021-1 new feature video for more information. It now serves as the new default protein preparation protocol, a vital tool for all downstream applications like FEP+, Nokia Dynamics, Stocking, etc. These are just some of the highlights of the 2021-3 Schrodinger release. For the complete list and to learn more, please visit schrodinger.com forward slash new features.